Well, now we'll see how to calculate area of square in JavaScript. So JavaScript is embedded in HTML, and uh, you can write JavaScript in body section, head section, or by external file also. So JavaScript to write any JavaScript code, it should be embedded within a script tag. And uh, as this is mobile and writer app. so after typing the uh, script tag automatically this type comes if you are using notepad then use uh, after script used language is equal to javascript now we'll declare the variable so where keyword is used uh, then we uh, as area of circle has formula that is side square so you can give any variable name and we'll write area so you can declare any variable so every variable is separated by comma and each line is uh, terminated by semicolon so where is the keyword these are two variables so we will input the either you can assign the value suppose we'll assign uh, so this is called initialization means previous means while declaration only of the variable we are assigning the values now we'll write the formula area is equal to side square so side square means s into s that is to multiply that value so star sign is used for multiplication now we'll print so there are three methods or you can say functions in build function which are used to print the output so by alert we get alert dialog box with okay button so area of uh, square is then write plus sign this plus sign is for concatenation not this now Here, s into s means two into two. We will get stored in area. So this is a message in alert, and plus means to join the uh, text with uh, another variable or another message. You can see. So this is variable. So variable is never uh, for variable. Area is a variable. So not to use your double quotes here because we want to actually print the result. What is stored in area? so every script tag should be closed after completing javascript code then body tag and html now save this file so every javascript file you have to give any name as already i had saved you have to always give extension as dot html in javascript so we'll run this so as uh, this is android we'll see this output in preview so this we got c4 so this directly we had assigned the value so instead of assigning we can take the value also uh, as a input at run time so what to do that in this case so here we have to create that is we have to assign the value to s is equal to so prompt is a function which is that is method as you can say uh, which is used to input the value at run time that is you can input value so you can write any message right so write enter side of square now close the bracket now what will happen in this case see whatever you enter will get stored in s but what will happen now we'll see okay now we have to enter so this we got by this we got by prompt prompt is used to now we'll write suppose 3 okay so we got this answer as a 9 okay so we can also use a uh, that is uh, we can one one more one more time we'll run suppose 4 okay so this is area of circle this box we got by alert so instead of suppose you want to convert into integer so that is number so you can use parse int parse int is a inbuilt function so i you have to write capital which is used it that it parses uh, the string means whatever it can be into number that is integer without decimal point suppose you don't want in decimal point anything to be entered so if you enter also still you will get the result suppose 3.4 still you will get answer this way 
because uh, parsin